mess. I got a call from a private customer to take a folded broken in half trailer along with the back part of it to a scrap yard. Well, I just pulled up now. I got uh, two land dolls waiting outside. I just pulled them first to see what exactly is going on. Huh. Well, this looks like uh, that's what been done by another tow company. Maybe some kind of skip loader to fold it in half like this. Because it's folded in half very nice. It obviously came here on a trailer. I just spoke with Enrique, so I don't think I need two land dolls. This looks like something I can do on one. I mean, I might have a little bit of overhang, but if this goes at the edge of the bed on the first land doll, 40 foot beds I could maybe crush that one a little bit more do something with it on its side and, and lay it right here save some money and gas I like that I want to just park straight right here for now like, huh. oh really Good thing I wore my sunscreen. You have some in there? No, you can bring it out. At the shop? I might. I usually keep some in my shop. Let me check my shower drawer. <laughs> nah, it's alright. I'm good. I'm gonna start clearing it out because it's already gonna start getting hot. I threw on a lot before I left. All right, Joe, take off the weights. Thank you, sir. Now, how to do this rigging. Looks like a, a lot of sharp stuff. I might use dual 15 foot chain. Where are my 15 foot straps? Straps it is, Joshy boy. Yeah, I feel the heat. So this is gonna be par uh, primarily a chain job with a little bit of straps. Those two orange ones, Joe, go in here. One on each or? One on right here, both. One both? And then on those, we'll go on the side of the trailer. We'll go one, two, three, four, five links in on each one on the chain clutch. Sweet. Now. show you my the method to my madness and we'll leave all the rigging on it since we're going two miles away so when we get to uh sa boom easy to lift and set you know you might be able to pick the whole thing up off my land off well just in case we'll, we'll leave the rigging I'm gonna stand over here because it's a little bit of shade. Hey, you think that axle's gonna stay? It's pretty shifted. It'll be offset in a little bit, but we're not going far. You 
be behind me anyway. Very true, Jabonero. We're just gonna go straight down Greenwood and we'll make a left on Union. Literally like three, four minutes away. Let me get my stick. Hey, watch out here. I went around and I slipped on that sheet. Oh, I know, you gotta be careful. I ate it nasty right here. This. Get over here. Perfect. Stand on the other side, Joe, and push. Uh, uh. One side goes over there and one goes over here. There you go. Whoops. It's not long enough. I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna switch it up. I'm gonna get two more chains to put in there to attach to this. But this is good for now. Let's, Let's focus. Little container chain. Right yeah, I'm gonna focus on the front now. Good. So this was my workaround. We're gonna go to the rim. The pins are set, but they look weak. Uh, I think it'll hold because it's empty. So this part's set. Now I gotta focus on the front. I've got two extra. Open into chains to extend those right there. I'll wait till Joe's done on his side. Okay. Oh, we didn't do the my my rim, Joe. Normally, I don't like putting the grab hook directly on like this, but I only have one set of uh, ten grab hooks, so this will do. This will do. Go up with this monstrosity. Sweet. Ready, Joe? Slow. I don't know the meaning of slow. And then once I get it even, we'll go in with both. Dude, this is hilarious. Huh? This is funny. Right. It's just such a funny looking lift. Okay, Joe, lift off. Get over here, hurry up. Let's get airborne. I wouldn't do anything. We should have went to the rear rims. Oh, that's an easy fix. Let me just drop it and we'll go to the rear one, okay? See, I wanted the rear. You know what? Let's put a chain on the axles. Uh, the, the axle, the pins are good. If the axles were gonna fall, they would have done it already. No, but what I'm saying is this one, because you got pressure right there, that one's gonna hang more. Well, I don't mind, you can just lift it up. Yeah, 
I wouldn't anymore because I'm, I'm lifting from the rear now. Okay, Joe. On the rear, please. Well, we're gonna make a quick adjustment. And then it's fly time. That was mainly a test too to see how well that uh, those pins hold to hold the axle in. It didn't fall off. They're holding so. Ready? Much better. I feel it now. See, the axle's not hanging bad. There's nothing you can do. Look how, look how tweaked it is. This thing, just to show you guys how nasty it is. That is a, you think it was a rollover, huh? It had to have been. Yeah, it had to have smash it. Okay, so this side's gonna go towards the deck, right? And then, yeah. The axle shifted, but it's not too bad. You won't have much overhang. Okay, let's do it then. You're gonna back up right here when I'm ready. Yes, sir. Going up. I'm gonna extend out, it'll give it uh, room to correct itself when I start swinging. There she comes. It's an easy call. Easy, easy. You think everything's easy, Joe? Huh? You think this everything's easy. easy? Tell me it's not easy. Cause I'm here. No. <laughs> yeah, with the rotator. We'll keep it low to the ground and just float over the floor. But the floor's lava. And that was a good point to put a tagline on it. Oh, right there. Grab those straps. Use those straps though, just to keep it from swinging too hard. <laughs> we'll make it hooked up. Thank you, Jojo. Ready? Yeah. Swinging. Yeah, swinging. No, 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 me. Yeah, you're right, this is easy. <laughs> this is easy. And I'm really loving the hookup. Just to show we use the frame grab hooks to go right here, where it's strongest. Let, let it settle and then I'll back up to it. Well, let me get it perfectly straight first. No, no, leave it right there, I can back up right there. Oh, diagonally? Straight there, yeah. Just let it settle right there and I just back up to it. You want me to extend it out or anything? Ah, right there is perfect. All right. Lift up higher to the land off. That's good, right there. And I'll hold it right here. That's perfect. Look how sharp 22 looks. Can I wipe it down right now? I washed the front end. And again, end. our trucks always look good. All right, well, JoJo goes straight in now. I'll show you guys the rigging really quick. Sweet. The trailer weighs next to nothing. That's the light part. It's the, the axles that are the heavy part. But I mean, still, no match for this. I like it a lot. I wonder if anyone knows any backstory on this one. They just told us to pick it up at, at this yard take it to a scrap metal place but I know there's a story behind this
one shot, Joe. Perfect height, perfect height. Now I want it just so the rear axles are all the way at the end. That leaves room for the, the front of the trailer to go right here on top of it. We'll put the, the corner of it here. So it's resting here with the, with the lane on top of that. We'll do it here so your axles are at the edge. Then we'll put that box right here in this corner. You like it? Oh, let's see how much feet that is. Make sure we measure. You should have put that on first. Nah. Now, before we set it on the front of the Landau, there's a couple pieces I want to cut. It's always a good time when I get to use this baby. Much better. It set it down, no? Yeah, but I gotta cut that because that's gonna it's gonna stick out, damage the bed, and make it come down ugly. <clears throat> this one can be folded. It's just it's just this one. This is just like a rubber seal. by a centimeter. Yeah, I'm strong. Now I can set it down, Joe. I love this baby. I wish I had more chances to use it. Let's set the back first. Look, I got no tension on the rear. No, because the axle's twisted. So that side's sticking out more in the corner that you can't see. Look. I see the back rim. I stopped it. Did you see how the back end's right there? <laughs> uh, we can still more. Oh, half of that's on there. Yeah. Let me just push the, the front out. No, because it's, it's sticking too much to the... Hanging off your driver's side, Joe. What I'm gonna do is just push out the front so it's more on the, this side. Joe, now it's good. Yeah, we're good right Perfect, huh? Let's just verify. Now 
I'll have to get my rigging off into the next one. See, these I like a lot, man. These bad boys. Ah, I love these. <laughs> Poor penguins. I shall want to do that in my video. That's funny. The face of that penguin already knows. Ah. That face of the penguin is like, oh no. So what Joe can do to help me out is probably back up. Uh, how about you back up more? Well, actually, no. Pull forward because I'm not going to be at the same angle. I want to see where it settles and then we'll adjust you. Now this part's gonna be a little bit more tricky. I don't have uh, axles or anything to hook up to. What the heck? See where someone cut it with the saw right here? That's probably how they lifted it. Look, there's two identical incisions right here. Well, that's my lift point. I bet you there's two more on the other side. Yeah. Yep, there is. I know exactly how they did it. They probably ran a 3 8 chain, like a 20 footer, in that side and out this side and just basketed the whole thing. I could do something similar. I don't want to use 3 8 chain though. The rigging I have is already fine. Those are precise cuts. All right, so step one of trying to bring this thing up, uh, I wanted to bring it up upside down from right there, but decided against it last second. I'm gonna try this method. Watch out, Joe. Joe, it's gonna swing. try to pivot it and move it around these pallets. Let me stand right here. gonna want to turn make sure it's clear here And I swing it, this side's gonna be on top of the, the broken trailer. Let's uh let it stop right now. Hold on. This thing's so light. Oh yeah.
This is very odd. I've never done something like this where it's just an upright back half of a trailer. the lines like that now that it's going to be behind me that's going to be on the couch on the deck i'm going to stand over here more so i can there we go that's a good angle once it's perfectly like center with the the trailer joe you'll start backing up in fact you can do that now We're coming. I think right there's good. Good, good, good. I'm gonna get slack for keeping it suspended like that, but come on. I could probably lift this thing up with my bare hands. Alright, not really, but it's light is what I'm saying. And easy to maneuver. Maybe he could back up a bit more. Just, uh, does this have wheels? Get this out of the way. Oh, okay, no, that's heavy. Back up more. Well, I might back it up more this way. Ah, you're good there. Just back up a bit more. I'll, I'll stop you. Now to do a little bit of finessing. You know what, I want this end right here. Let's try it. a little bit of finessing okay this is almost perfect Look how easy it, it pivots. Mm. 
push it. I'm gonna swing a little bit more, Joel. Now stay, let me drop that side a little. Let me get up there and push it. No, from right there. Right. Now keep it like that, please. Chains out. I'll get the chains out. I'll be able to reach. Well, I mean, obviously, I gotta go over more. I like it too because it does nothing with the paint. Keep pushing it, Joe. I gotta go over like literally less than a foot. More. Last push, yeah? Okay, Joe, I got all the stuff down. Let's push it out. Push, push, push. Push. There. How's that on, how's that on each side, good? I think we're good. Okay. I don't want to go too far. There. Flush. Right well, obviously this can't be flush because these things stick out. But I got a few inches on each side. And I'll be following Joe. I don't think they'll be able to waffle there. Huh? Unless they got the big claw. Yeah, he has the claw. The excavator. But if not, we'll see. All right, let's start chaining this down. Oh man, believe it or not, this is probably the hardest thing I've done so far. I didn't know, but uh, this this place does not have a forklift as massive as it is. I was hoping to use it to put this trash. They, they want all this taken care of, so I had to make a little bridle and stack all this stuff on top of it. Now I'm gonna see how it came out. Well, first let's get rid of this. I don't need this anymore. There. Let's hopefully it came out okay. Let's see. Maybe I could put the tire. I purposely let a few of inside on this side because I want the tire to go over here. <sighs> While I'm doing all this, Joe's securing that trailer with the cab. I mean, with the other piece really good onto the, the Lando. So let's let it out on the blue. Shoot, this might fit right through. That's awesome. Frankenstein rigging right there. I'm gonna just try to put the rest of this in here and we'll do it in one shot. Okay, I don't care what you say, that's that's impressive. 
I managed to get it all. You know, like when you're a kid and your mom tells you to get the grocery bags from the car, but you try to put them all in both your hands so you have to make two trips. That's exactly what I'm doing here. One trip only. You know, it's overcast now, but the heat, it's hot. I need to raid that fridge when I'm done with this. Mm. I'm gonna go over the top. a pain by some miracle I did it but you're like I put the tire I took off two links or maybe four on this side so it'll purposely lean so when I put the tire on now it's balanced It's like a reverse claw machine. Instead of grabbing something out, I'm putting it in. Drop the cable and let's go full extension. Actually, I'll make it there. Let's get on this side. Let me throw up. Look, my chains are ready. If you drop that in there, they're gonna I wanna get my chains off. Okay. Drop some wood. Alright, so I'm holding it in place. Joe's gonna be at a point. If I drop that down, it's gonna be difficult for him to get his chains out. Whoever did this call last time, thank you for this. So you're gonna just throw some pieces of wood in there. Use those two. Okay, Joe, let's do this. <laughs> That's so funny. Where did I put my gloves? I'm always losing those stupid things. Oh. Check the fridge. Okay, ready? Hey, that tire's gonna act as a good buffer. Yeah. Check it out. Ready, ready, ready? Ready. Sauce. And then it's gonna catch itself in the corner. Perfect. We're too good, Joe. Let me take this one off first. Hurry up. We'll take it off from here. You know what, take that blue part, this blue part. Oh, well, you can do that. See if you can get the other one off, please. And we'll be getting our tetanus shots when we're done. All right, battery's low, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, help Joe put all this away and then we're out of here. We'll get back when we get to the drop site. Uh, 10 minutes later, going very slow, we are here. Right away, I'm in first. Do a lot of 
Frankenstein toes, but I think this one's up there. Now I got a big haul right now, a uh, 15,000 pound excavator for an account in a tiny residential area in Beverly Hills, expensive houses in the backyard. The poor hole probably won't fit. So I'm gonna try to see if they can offload them here. I'll do it quick and then I'm gonna meet my medium duty over there. That'll be a nice video. Okay, I just got the best news. Never works out this good, but uh, they're able to offload them here after all. With their forklifts and whatnot, it's us here recycling after all, they're pretty big. So I'm gonna take off to my shop and pick up my medium duty. I got a uh, it's secret for now, but you guys will see soon enough. No rotators will fit, so I'm gonna have to use my medium duty record skills. Bye bye, Joe. Peace out, Joe.